Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. It's been like five or six days and it's felt like forever. I am so excited to be cash stuffing for you guys because I have a lot of updates. Um, some I'll spill, some, some I won't, I'll just save. But I did wanna give a chit chat for you guys today. So I noticed that I do have 430 subscribers and I just wanna say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart just for enjoying what I have going on as far as my content and just viewing it and appreciating it and I'm excited to go on this journey with you guys so every person that's decided to subscribe or even just check out if you don't subscribe but you should because it's going to be a long three-year journey and I'm excited to take you guys with me um I just really appreciate you guys so every milestone doesn't go unnoticed you know I never would have thought that I would have 50 subscribers much less 400. Once I get to 500, I do want to do a giveaway. I already have the idea in my head, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, so today I'm going to be cash stuffing my full-time and my part-time income because this week has been crazy and I did get paid twice today. So I'm just going to go ahead and do both. And my part-time paycheck is kind of small, so I figured, you know, why not just do both of them? We are going to be doing a chit-chat today, so I'm going to be talking about dating and finances because it is almost valentine's day so i feel like this will be the perfect topic if you're interested please stay tuned if you're not and you just want to see me stuff my cash and my budget you can go ahead down below and skip to that portion of the video but we are going to get right into it all right y'all so i really want to talk about this topic because i actually put out a video talking about you know family and friends not really understanding the debt journey if you haven't seen that you can click above I'll leave a little tab where you can check that out but I basically just talked about how people are just not understanding sometimes of your financial goals or your new lifestyle changes you know which is to be expected but I did want to talk about specifically about you know having an asset as far as relationships because for me I feel like assets are more than just money even though of course this is a budgeting channel and you know, there's a lot of budgeting channels out there. We all talk about our finances, the money, the savings, you know, stocks and just different things like that. But I do feel like an asset can be the people around you. It can be a lot of different things. I feel like relationships can either make or break you. Um, they can either motivate you or they can do the complete opposite, honestly. So personally for me, I do feel like, um, money plays a big part in relationships and like now in our you know in our generation a lot of people put so much weight on money over even someone's character sometimes like I know there was something I who said that it was actually actually had a conversation with someone as well um like would you date a man that makes less than you and she was like no like she would never do that ever again um, and honestly, for me, I've been on both sides of the, the spectrum. I've dated a guy that's made a lot of money. He was a web developer. He made good money. And I've dated a guy that needed to call his mom to take us out on dates to ask her for money. Honestly, two bad examples. But I really feel like uh, mindset is the biggest asset out there when it comes to dating. Um, so, yeah, I, I wouldn't say that I would never date a guy that makes less than me um I don't know I just feel like that's so shallow but on the flip side with dating um a lot of times people out here just want you know a free meal ticket a place to lay their head you know there's a lot of people that want to use you out here you know you try to be nice and you know it's kind of hard to have discernment on who's genuine and who's not I even watch <laughs> Comment below if you watch 90 Day Fiance. That is my show. I love 90 Day Fiance. Um, well, some of them, they'll clearly use them for money. Like, it'll just be so obvious that they'll use them for money. I've been dating someone for about three months now. Uh -huh. uh, he just got out of the military for doing four years. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like I'm taking care of him because his situation with the money part isn't going pretty well he's not motivated to actually work for anyone i don't know if uh i'm wrong for 
not wanting to be with him, or? Well, I can just tell you, don't nobody else in here want to be with him either. <laughs> I didn't see not one woman in here go, oh, well, where he at? <laughs> you got a man, he's not working. Yes. He's not motivated to work. Do you have to pay if you go out on a date? Every time I go out on a date, I pay. Yes. But he's a really good guy, and I... I a really... It's, it's a personality. I don't know if I should hold on to this. They get real old. Cute men ain't worth a damn when they ain't taking care of business. Mm. Like, how is the person's mindset? I feel like you can make, you can make fifteen dollars an hour and still have the mindset of a millionaire. And you know where you are now is not how you're gonna be in the future if you don't want it to be that way. If you want to work towards something, then I feel like genuinely, I know someone can do that. Say for me, I have all this school debt. That's like a guy saying like. You know, I would never date a girl with $80,000 worth of student loan debt, you know? I know how much finances impact relationships, and personally, I just don't want my future family or my future spouse to have to deal with the things or the bad decisions that I made in my 20s, you know? So that's why I'm doing this as well. It's bigger than myself, really, at this point. But for the most part, I feel like I can't be I don't know, I can't, I can't expect something from someone else until I am that for myself. Which is, like I said, again, and I'm always gonna say, this is why I'm doing this journey, because, you know, that's just that. Like, in terms of dating, I can't have these high standards, and then I don't bring it to someone else, because then we're not equally yoked. And equally yoked goes both ways, not just for him, but for me as well. No. Damn, I think entrepreneurs should date entrepreneurs. Okay, but still, there's there's people who have really good jobs with vocational skills. If, if he's a mechanic... I'm, I'm sure, but no, you're not going to understand my lifestyle. You're not going to understand why I'm up at 3 a.m. Damn, you're making this you, hard for me. Okay, all right. You all know, right. he has to be an entrepreneur. A business owner. But I understand, like, where she was coming from. Like, you want somebody that's equally yoked. Like, I know I want somebody that's equally yoked. I mean, if I can have a dude with good money and he treats me right, and he has a good head on the shoulders and morals and values and a follower of Jesus Christ and all these things, that would be perfect. But none of us are perfect. So I feel like you just have to pick and choose, you know, what you're willing to accept. If my dude treated me the way that I wanted to be treated and he wasn't making that much money, but as long as he had the mindset or goals, like he's going to school or something, like he has plans. Like if you have plans, then I can respect that. I feel like everyone should have their personal preference in terms of things. Like there's no right or wrong. And I feel like we all have our opinions shaped off of our experiences in the past. Like I know I have, like I said, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. And then me just knowing myself, if I met someone that had the same drive, if not more drive than me, and he made a little bit less, I personally, I would, I think I would be okay with it. Y'all dating out here is just, oof, it's a little scary out here. I don't know. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. I feel like, I don't know, everyone wants instant success, instant this, instant that, and they want to show it off to everyone. So you kind of hold yourself to that standard and you hold other people to that standard, but that's just not how life goes, you know? Just like my debt journey, I feel like everything is just a journey and it's going to be like this. Never going to be like this. It's going to be like this. We're going to be at Six Flags on Roller Coaster King the Car like this, you know? Knowing that, I feel like I need someone with the mindset of resilience, determination, and to be a leader, really. And to me, you don't get that from money. Because money doesn't buy character. Money doesn't buy happiness. I read something, too. It was like, money doesn't change you. Money reveals the things that were already there. And that really spoke to me because his asset is his mindset. And if, if his mindset is not there, he needs to go, honestly. So I thought this would be a cool topic because I'm actually going to bring on one of my guy friends to do my cash envelope stuffing. So that's going to be pretty funny. And he's not bad with money, um, but he's not familiar with the cash envelope method. So I think it would be interesting just for him to see like what's going on and it'll just be funny because y'all he's a clown like he's he's crazy. 
so i'm excited about that video hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat please leave comments down below you know basically on your thoughts on the situation would you date someone that makes less than you i'm just curious what would you guys do there's no right or wrong answer and you know it is what it is i'm just curious let me know and we are going to get right into this cash stuffing last week i did work one shift and um i got paid 67 dollars and this is how i divided it up i do a zero based budget for um my part-time paychecks and if you're new here i do work at amazon i work overnights i work weekends and i do work full-time as well i telework so basically i'm always at work that's why i'm always tired but this debt needs to be paid off so yeah um i am gonna put fifty dollars towards debt ten dollars to my car maintenance and seven dollars towards health and then i did get paid for my full-time paycheck so um i did want to finish off my last month of rent also if you're new here i am moving back home to my parents house i am well they offered extended the offer for me to move back so that way i can pay off my student loans so i took that offer and yeah this is pretty much my last month so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we can just move on next is my car loan um i paid the minimum payment for that and the minimum payment for my lend key which is my private student loan and then i did have some money left over so i decided to contribute to my 10k challenge now we are going to go ahead and grab the binders and i'm going to go ahead and stuff this cat y'all you hear my stomach growling i apologize in advance because i got panda express in the other room and i'm just like can't wait i'm so hungry let's just start off strong let's go straight back to debt so for debt i will be contributing 50 dollars so now debt has one 100 150 and i do have uh, one more credit card left that i'm working on and because i'm paying for bulk of my bills with this paycheck the bulk of that paycheck will be going to my credit card and i'm so excited because i can't wait to finally see that at least below a thousand like just give me below a thousand i don't ask for much car maintenance is getting ten dollars so now car maintenance has 100, 200, 220, 240, 250, 260, 270. Alrighty, next is health. And health is getting $7. I already took some money out because I finally went to the dentist. I finally did it. Um, and I probably need to put more in here. So now my health envelope has 50, 100, 120, 140, 150, 155, 160, 161, 162, 162 dollars. And now we are going to get the 10K challenge because we are rocking and rolling on this. So let's pull this to the side. So for the 10K challenge. So for my 10K challenge, I will be contributing $110. So let's go ahead and find that in here. Okay, there's that. And then I am going to pull out what I already have. So let's go back to the 10K challenge. So what did I say, 110? I think I need change. Okay, so now I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. I made change. So let's go ahead and do this. Add it to what we already have. So now my 10K challenge has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. Um, 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. So I have 1,063 dollars in here and I'm so excited because I made my first thousand and that was honestly my goal, which I'm so excited about. I finally did it. Honestly, I've never even saved this much money consecutively, probably in my life really. I just, yeah, I have issues. But um, you know, like you get refund checks and different things like that but I've never actually consecutively saved 
for something so I'm very very proud of myself like this is just this is the start of something beautiful guys literally okay, so for this money um, I just realized that I forgot my wallet but I didn't have any rollover anyway so I'm just gonna take out 50 because this $50 was supposed to be for um, my groceries um, the rest of this will go into my account but I, of course I will be taking out $50 for my gas so I did take out $100 just for my my envelopes but I'm only gonna stuff $50 if that makes sense this is just gonna be for my groceries so I don't have my wallet with me I don't know how I forgot my wallet but it's okay and the rest of this will go straight back into my account and I'm gonna go fill up my tank so I'm gonna leave this here and then this I'm just going to I'm just gonna keep this off to the side just so I don't get confused that way I know to put it in my wallet so anyways guys thank you guys so much for listening to my chit chat if you did thank you so much for watching my cash stuffing um, this has been a very hectic week this is a very hectic video like I don't know but I'm making it work I'm still budgeting I'm still sticking to my goals and I hope you guys are too thank you guys so much for just checking out my content if you're new here we are on the road to 500 and I'm excited to do this giveaway so we're going to get there. Please leave, you know, any comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.